welcome to the first of my Fritorials. I hope you're all well. As you can see, the first one is for Catwoman and this completes my whole little Gotham Girls thing that I had going. I've done, I did Poison Ivy last year, I also did Harlequin last year. And this year I was determined to do Catwoman. So this is the look, I hope you like it. And if you wanna see how I did this, then just please keep on watching. Okay, so before I jump straight into this tutorial, a few little things, if you can hear any kind of noise, um, it's Pepe, um, on my phone or outside because I'm actually filming downstairs today and these windows aren't actually exactly very good. Also, I can't find the little bit for the bottom of my camera to attach it to my tripod so it's kind of just balanced on it at the moment. But, we'll make do, we'll make do. So first things first, I'm going to be taking my eye primer and just priming my lid. I'm not going all the way up to my brow bone because um, I'm going to be using my eyebrow as like a little um, guideline for the mask that I'm going to be drawing on later. Um, so now I'm just going to be taking a little bit of tape and just applying this um, on the outside of my lash line up towards my brow just so I get that nice clean line that I've got here. Eyeshadows to start off with, I'm going to be taking my Vice 2 palette from Urban Decay and I'm just going to be taking Habit which is this really um, cream coloured shade here, it's just a neutral one and this is going to be setting the eye primer. I'm taking Rewind for my crease shade which is a middle tone brown I'd say and um, this is just going to be a basis because what I've actually gone for with this eye look is I didn't want it to be too black but there is that little hint there so I'm just going to apply this to my crease and blend it in and out of this palette I'm just going to be taking Dope which is a shimmery neutral colour and applying this all over the lid just to give it that little hint of sparkle then I'm going to be taking my full spectrum palette, also from Urban Decay, and I'm going to be taking Platonic. Now I would le I would use Lovesick out of, Vi of the uh, Vice 2 um, palette, but it is a little bit too shimmery, and this one only has a slight amount of shimmer in it. So I'm just going to apply this to the outer corner and the crease. And then just taking my blending brush with Rewind on, I'm just going to blend that in. Now, now at this point I would do my gel eyeliner on my top and lower waterline but what I'm going to do first is take my liquid eyeliner um, while I've still got the tape on and just do the liner on the top lid. Now what we're going to be doing with this is we're going to be winging it out on the outer corner but also bringing it down to like a little point in the inner corner as well. Now just remove your tape. And you should have that nice clean line. So then I'm going to be taking my gel liner and lining my upper and lower water lines. Just going back into platonic, I'm going to run this under my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of rewind again on a flat top brush. And just smoke that out a little bit. Going back to the full spectrum palette, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of iced, which is this really nice silver, and I'm just going to apply this a little bit on the inner corner here, just to add a little bit of sparkle. Now before I apply um, mascara and lashes, I'm just going to move on to my face and get the base ready for when I start drawing the mask on. So I've already primed my face with my Kat Von D um, Locket Primer and, and then I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D Locket Foundation. This is in Light 44 Cool, which is actually quite a bit pale for me. Um, but that's going to work for this look because I'm not really going to be doing kind of like a warm contour or anything. It's going to work quite well. So these are the uh, Netherland Beauty and Health toothbrushes. Well, they look like toothbrushes. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my face. I 
concealer I'm going to be using my usual two, which is the Kat Von D Locket and the Urban Decay Naked Skin. So I use my Kat Von D Locket one for just little areas like around my forehead, my nose, and my mouth, and a little bit on my chin. And then I use my Naked Skin one for under my eyes, because it's really quite bright. I'm going to be taking another one of my little toothbrush brush style things and just blend this in. So for powder you can use the translucent powder if you want to but instead I'm going to be taking this one from Makeup Revolution. This is their ghost powder. I actually bought this last year and I've not used it so I thought this would be quite the look to use it for so I'm just going to go ahead And apply this. This is just again gonna lighten everything up a little bit. So even though it is a white powder it doesn't really add any kind of colour to your face. Okay so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of contouring um, before I move on to the mask and everything and I'm gonna be using another product that I did buy last year for Halloween but never used and that is the Freedom SFX Ghost Stories kit which is a contouring kit I think yes contouring kit so you've got cream and powder shades I am just going to be using the I might use the cream no I've already powdered so I'm just going to be using the black um, contour shade um, so I'm going to need a very, very light hand with this, so I'm just going to be taking the next bit of face brush from Real Techniques and just tapping into this. Now, instead, I, like I said, I didn't want to use my normal contour because it is a little bit warm and I normally like warm contour. But for this look, I am taking a little bit of an inspiration from the Tim Burton Catwoman um, and I want that kind of like ashy toned uh, contour. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. Blush wise, I'm not really going to apply a blush because, again, Tim Burton's characters don't really wear a lot of blush. This is inspired by him, but I just, I don't, I don't think the look could call for it. So, now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the mask. So, now we're going to go ahead and start drawing on the mask. So, I'm just going to be taking a black eyeliner. This is a different one to... Uh, my other one and um, first of all I'm going to mark out where I want it so start with the eyes a little something like that so now I'm going to be going ahead and taking my trusty Snazaro face paints so I don't actually have any of my paint brushes I don't know where they've gone so I'm going to be using um, my makeup brushes. You don't have to worry, these do wash out really easily and they don't ruin your brushes. So I'm just going to take a little bit of water, because these are water activated, and just dip into my face paint. And then you just want to go ahead and paint in the lines. So you need this to be as opaque as possible, so um, apply a layer, let it dry and then apply another layer um, just to get that effect. Once that's dry I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this black shade which is called Lovesick. It does have a little bit of sparkle but that's not a worry, we're just going to go ahead go over the uh, face paint just to set it. So once I've done that, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of my white shade from the Ghost Stories palette and I'm just going to highlight the mask where it needs to be highlighted. So here. And to really make that highlight stand out, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of my Skin Kiss um, highlight from Makeup Revolution in Ice Kiss. And I'm just going to be using my uh, finger to apply this. 
because I am basing this on the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman, um, I am going to be taking my liquid liner and drawing like the stitch kind of marks and then I'm going to be go going in with some uh, white face paint just to really um, just to add those stitches in. So I'm just going to go ahead with my eyeliner. And then I'm going to be taking my white face paint, just going to add some stitches to those lines. So then I'm just going to be taking my flat top brush again that I used to apply rewind under my eye and I'm just going to go around like little areas under the bottom then of the mask and then just like here where the mask touches my face just to give it that little bit of shadow. Moving on to the lips, I'm first of all going to be taking this lip liner. This is just part of the um, one of the Makeup Revolution lip kits. It's the one in Royal, so it's a really deep purple. And I'm just going to line my lips. And then going over the top of that with um, my uh, Rimmel Kate lipstick in 107. Very trusty lipstick, this one. And for the outer corners, I'm just going to be taking my NYC Lipstick in Black Night. Just going to take this on a brush and just deepen those outer corners up a little bit. I've okay, just had a quick costume change and now I'm going to go ahead and put my lashes on. The lashes I'm going to be using are the Kimberly from Isla Lashes. And I'm just going to apply my glue, wait 20 to 30 seconds for it to become tacky. And then just apply it as close to my lash line as I can get it. I'm going to take my mascara and blend my false lashes in with the real ones. And then I'm just going to go back in with my liquid liner and just go over the lash band. just just to hide the um, glue. Okay, so that was the look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I have some more fright tutorials coming your way soon. I just need to get a few little costume pieces and little bits and bobs and we can go ahead and get started on them. Um, this is my Halloween background at the minute. I will be adding more decorations. Um, you'll probably have seen some of these from um, my previous Halloween that I've done over the last couple of years. So if you like this tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to follow me on my Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, they're all linked in the description down below, along with my Snapchat where you can get little sneak peeks and little updates and everything. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all having a very good day. If you've got a tutorial that you want to request, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Stay beautiful, stay awesome, and I shall see you all soon. Bye.